on the track. It is my absolute pleasure. On the track, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you the Breakneck Betties. <laughs> Number seven, Mar Roland Monroe. 1016, Domesticated Violence. Number 88, Barbara Hella. Number 78, D.D. Monick. Number 44, Francesca. 00100, Elite Speaking Missile. Number 222, The Princess Snide. Number 201, Push La Tush. Number 847, The Mad Splatter. Coming at you, number 1337, Lethal Lolita. Number 18, Frisky Sour. Number 51, Shove Me Tender. Number 94, Scrappy Go Lucky. Number eight, Slim Sheedy. Number 20, Sulfuric Acid. XOX, Northern Lights Out. Number 360, Joyride. And number 1791, Give Her No Quarter. These are your breakneck buddies. Up next, we've got your 2010 Season 5 Rose City Roller Champions, the High. Number 23, it's Rex Deckard. Captain 3B, Taxine. Number 42, Devastating Diva. Count to 10, it's Heidi Go Seek. Number 72, Honey Hellfire. Number 82, Hurricanes Katrina. We got a code five, it's intensive scare. Number 11, Kit Cassidy. Number 55, Layla Smackdown. Number 13, Mia Farrell. 28 days, Minstrel Psycho. One, two, three, it's Napoleon Blown Apart. Number 47, Penny Dreadful. 187, it's raw footage. Number 101, Rita Manuel. 3.95, it's Schoolgirl Crusher. And 36, 24, 36, it's Sedusa Destroya. They've got their mascot. The King, and their coaches, J.K. Rowling and Sully Skull Kicker. Give it up for the High Rollers! Ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen, the teams are taking to the track. The high rollers are up and ready to go. It is period one. Let's make some noise for the Rose City Rollers! On the track for the high rollers. Honey Hellfire! And on the Paps Blue Ribbon Jammer Line for the Breakneck Betty's Sulfuric Acid! I would not want that in my eye. And the pack is off. Jammers are out and they're engaging the pack. Sulfuric acid being met by a heavy wall of green. Honey Hellfire is your lead jammer. Sulfuric acid clears the pack. These girls are moving fast. Honey Hellfire engaging the pack, coming up on the inside line. She's working her way through and she calls off the jam. Honey Hellfire picks up a quick four. And one point for the breakneck Betty. Taking the line in this next jam. This is a fast, fast game. It is roller derby. Rick Deckard. And number 51, Shove Me Tender. Oh yeah, you want to do that? And the jam is moving fast. Waiting to see who our lead jammer is. Breakneck Betty, shove me tender. Rick Deckard recycled to the end, in the back. And now is making her way out. She is not your lead jammer. But that's okay, because we still have 28 minutes and 24 seconds where she could get lead jammer at some point. I'm quite positive she will. Shove me tender, taking a tough shove in between turn two and three. Jam is called. Mike checks. Well, I'd like to give a quick shout out to all of the folks that are watching at the alleyway. They've got the live broadcast of tonight's bout going on. So a huge shout out to all of the Rose City Roller fans at the alleyway. On the Paps Blue Ribbon Jammer line for the Breakneck Betty's is Give Her No Quarter. Oh. Little jammer on Jackson, jammer right there in the beginning of the jam. Love to see that. Jamming for your high rollers in this, this jam would be Menstrual Psycho. Give Her No Quarter takes a little bit of stumble, but she is right back on her skates. Both jammers really having to work to get through the pack on this jam. This is a tough fight to score points, but she is through as your lead jammer. Give her no quarter. Menstrual Psycho finding no joy in the pack. The Betty's giving her a work over. And she is through. Not after taking a hard hit by Monroe. And the gem is off. Resetting, oh, Mike check. Well, thank you, Magic. I'd just like to thank Get Fit Training, the official fitness trainers of the Rose City Rollers and home of the Hit to Fit 30-minute circuit workout. Get Fit Training. On the PBR jammer line for the high rollers, Napoleon Bonaparte. And lined up for the second time tonight, Sulfuric Acid. Sulfuric Acid picking up lead jammer, sneaking right through the middle of the pack. The 
domestic violence doing a nice job holding back the high roller jammer for a lap. And sneaking through for the breakneck Betty, sulfuric acid. Picking up a five in the sky. And Napoleon blown apart right behind her. A very fast, very rough pack in this game. Also heavy hitting there in the pack. Smart play by Sulfuric Acid. Picking up one point and calling the jam. My checks. Well, Sulfuric Acid looked like a rock star in that last jam, and rock star is the favorite energy drink of Portland's hardest hitting ladies on skates, rock star energy drink. I'm getting a little tingly. It's my absolute pleasure to introduce Joyride on the Paps Blue Ribbon Jammer Line. Speaking of tingly, Honey Hellfire for the High Rollers. Honey Hellfire down in turn one. And it looks like Honey Hellfire will be spending a minute in the Rebel Jeweler penalty box. Well, it looks like during that jam, Honey Hellfire ended up in the... That was a wardrobe malfunction, Mike Checks. It seems someone lost a crucial piece of their skating equipment in turn three. Thank you, Speed Bump. As I was saying, it looks like Honey Hellfire being sent to the Rebel Jeweler penalty box. Looks like domesticated violence is your jammer for the breakneck Bettys. The high roller is working it slowing down. Domesticated violence. The keeper getting through the pack and scoring any points. Huge hit from Devastating Diva. Forcing domesticated violence to the back of the pack. Breakneck Betty is working hard trying to break up that wall of three up front. Breakneck Betty is doing their best to slow the pack down. Honey Hellfire is back on the track. I believe we just saw a passing of the star, ladies and gentlemen. Very exciting. However, I do want you to know anything can happen. Honey Hellfire engaging on the outside and everybody's down. Sulfuric Acid picking up four points, and the jam is called. And the jam is off. Mike checks. Well, folks, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Oaks Amusement Park. Oaks Amusement Park, home of your Rose City Rollers. For the Breakneck Buddies, first time out on the Paps Blue Ribbon Jammer Line, Northern Lights Out. And for the high rollers, number 23, Rack Deckard! Magic, this game sure is heating up tonight. High rollers at 10, breakneck Betty's at 14 points. Rack Deckard is your lead jammer. Northern Lights Out, putting up a good fight in the middle of the pack. A very rough, very fast pack. A lot of jostling around in there. Rick Deckard engaging the pack from behind. She's working her way through with a little help from her friends. She's on the inside. Rick Deckard calls off the jam. Mic check. Well, Magic, I'd like to tell you about a place that's near and dear to my heart. It's a place called Hammy's Pizza. 
It is tubular pizza delivered till 4 a.m. because as you and I both know, three o'clock in the morning happens and sometimes you need pizza. Think Hammy's Pizza. Mike, you know what goes well with Hammy's Pizza? Pabst Blue Ribbon, the official sports beer of uh, Rose City Rollers. On the jammer line for the breakneck buddies is Joyride, number 360. And for the high rollers, again, the Menstrual Psycho. Hard hit by 3B on Joyride. Still waiting to find out who is going to make our initial pass. Number 360 is your lead jammer. Menstrual Psycho finding no joy in that pack. She's having a difficult time working through. On the inside, way inside, she slowed right down. This is very exciting, ladies and gentlemen. Scoreboard says 14-14. Yeah. sneaking that inside line, picking up four points, and the jam is called. Mike checks. Well, folks, I'd like to tell you about a new sponsor for the Rose City Rollers, Red Velvet Parlor. They're a beauty parlor and boutique with a warm atmosphere and a Victorian Baroque flair. The Rose City Rollers are proud to have Red Velvet Parlor as one of their sponsors. Thank you, Mike Chex. Taking it to the jammer line for the high rollers. On the jammer line for breakneck Betty's give her no quarter. This would be her second time out there jamming. Holy moly, <laughs> she just fights her way through two high rollers and picks up lead jammer. Number 72 for the high rollers, taking a hard hit over there on turn four. She's back up on her skates. That would be Frisky Sour, just breaking through the pack on the outside. I believe that's Honey Hellfire. I believe you're right. And calling off the jam, give her no quarter. Looks like we've got a team time out. Breakneck Bettys. Mike, this time out might be a great time to throw a shout out to Celeste Cacho. She's celebrating her birthday here tonight. Celeste Cacho, happy birthday from the Rose City Rollers. What a better way to spend your birthday than here. Watching Roller Derby, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise for the Rose City Rollers! Well, it looks like uh, in addition to the team timeout taken by the Breakneck Bettys, there's a little bit of an official timeout going on in the center of the track, and Speed Bump is out there checking in on what's going on. While we're waiting for speed bump, everybody get ready because right after this bout, during intermission, the Bell New Belgian Brewing Company Fat Tire Pale Ale Tricycle Races will be happening. That'll be a three-round elimination tricycle bout. What do you have to say about it, Salt Satine? I hear that I am seeing that speed bump might be ready to tell us something, and then I'll tell you about the prize package later. Speed bump. We're just uh, crossing our I's and dotting our T's out here in the center, making sure all the points are tallied up. It seems there may have been a discrepancy about how many points were reported in a previous jam and how many points actually went up on the big board. So we want to total all those up, make sure everything is groovy, and then get back to the action. Speed bump, that is always a good thing to figure out. 
You can say that again. I think she was saying, you're the best adult tricycle rider she's ever seen. That's right. You might fight for that prize package, which is a Patagonia backpack, I believe, with some goodies in it. What kind of goodies, Satine? Oh, looks like we have two pint glasses in there and a couple t-shirts from... New Belgian Brewing Company. Follow your folly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's after party will be hosted by Portland Men's Roller Derby at the Bossa Nova Ballroom here in Portland. You don't want to miss that. You get admission into this party with your wristband and or ticket. It looks like we settled that point dispute by uh, talking about a little rule we call a no point pass, which happens occasionally when a player is out of play and passes an opponent, she will not get those points, but it may not have been a penalty. I thought no point passes only happened to me. And on the jammer line for the uh, high rollers, Hurricane Skatrina. Second time out there tonight for the breakneck Betty shove me tender. High rollers looking to open things up for Hurricane. That pack just spread out like an accordion and snapped right back. Hurricane Katrina working the front end. High rollers looking for a way through. High rollers definitely having a pack advantage out there, and it's showing because she picks up lead jammer. Shove me tender, getting called out to the penalty box. That leaves Hurricane Katrina on the track in a power jam situation. These ladies show incredible skating control and skill out there, Magic. Hurricane Katrina looking for some joy, trying to find her way through the very front. Domesticated violence, the last stop, and she is through for another five points. Looks like in the pack we have a three on three. And this is an incredibly fast pack out there. Number 23 taking a trip to the Rebel penalty box. And the jam gets called. Mic check. Well, Magic, I've got a couple of birthday wishes here. Number one, we've got happy birthday to Savannah, who's one of the RCR interns. Happy birthday to her. And happy birthday to one of the breakneck Bettys, the Mad Splatter! <laughs> happy birthday, Maddie. On the jammer line for the breakneck Bettys, number 20, Sulfuric Acid. And for the high rollers, it is Minstrel Psycho. Oh, my heart is pumping. We've got a scoreboard of high rollers, 23, breakneck buddies, 22. Menstrual Psycho looking for some joy in the back of the pack. The Betty's not giving it to her. That's right, sulfuric acid picking up a lead jammer status. Menstrual Psycho's through the pack. Wow, excellent juke by sulfuric acid. Picking up four points and calling the jam. Ladies and gentlemen, you can still buy raffle tickets right now. Our next raffle package is a PBR swag package, including uh, t-shirts, socks, belt buckles, and a custom PBR longboard. On the jammer line for the breakneck Bettys. Second time tonight, Northern Lights Out. 
And number 72, Honey Hellfire for your high rollers. I just heard both these teams got new uniforms. They sure do look sharp. Cutting the track major out there for Northern Lights Out. Giving high rollers a power jam situation. For Honey Hellfire, and she calls off the jam. Well, I'd like to introduce another new Rose City Rollers sponsor, Fat Lip Industries. Carve hard, ride fast, be free. Go to skatefatlip.com. Jammer at the PBR, Jammer Line. Uh, Heidi, go seek all by herself. That's right. Looks like Northern Lights Out is still in their Rebel Penalty Box. Heidi Go-Seek is your lead jammer. Magic, this is an incredibly close game. Very exciting. High Rollers doing a nice job bringing the pack to almost a complete Heidi. stop. Heidi Go-Seek, looks like she picked up a major back blocking in that pile up there. She'll be spending a minute in the Rebel Jeweler penalty box. She is a diamond in the rough. Looks like Breakneck Betty's Northern Lights Out, fighting hard, getting some assistance from her teammates, leaping up, getting to the front of the pack, small tumble on turn four, right back on her skates. The high rollers with an amazing four wall at the front of this pack. Northern Lights Out getting a little help from number 360 Joyride in the back of the pack there. Even Northern Lights Out can't get through that. That is one heavy wall of green up front. Heidi Go Seek back on the track, on the inside. She snuck on through for four points. Like lightning. Heidi Go Seek through the pack like it was standing still. She picks up another four. Bringing our score, 31 high rollers, breakneck Betty's 26. Breakneck Betty's picking up two points on that last pass. And it looks like we've got a team timeout being called by the high rollers after that absolutely amazing jam. And speaking of amazing, the fried bananas at the Vita Cafe, absolutely amazing. The Vita Cafe, vegetarian and vegan friendly, food for thought, and proud sponsor of your Rose City Rollers. Thank you, Mike Checks. Buy your raffle tickets, folks. We have 10 minutes till the raffle starts. Our next package will be a massage from Nicole Sanders of Medical Massage Northwest. That's Medical Massage Northwest, the official medical massage of your Rose City Rollers. On the jammer line for Breakneck Betty's Domesticated Violence. And for the High Rollers, number 23, let's hear some noise for Rick Deckard. Everybody knows we have a lot of news people in our audience tonight, but in between jams, we have 30 seconds to line up. That is not much time. Oh, that was a Breakneck Betty sandwich up front there. Breakneck Betty shaking it up at the front of the pack with Rec Deckard in the middle. Through for lead jammer is domesticated violence.
super fast pack, but that does not stop. Domesticated Violence, she is through four points and calls the jam. Mike check. Well, ladies and gentlemen, PDX Pipeline is your online source for Portland's music, arts, and events happenings. Check them out at PDX Pipeline. And speaking of happenings, holy cow, have you guys seen the lead changes going on out there on the track? It is absolutely amazing. I was just thinking that, Mike Chet. It's an amazing score. Practically, a tie. it's been back and forth all night. The high rollers, the Bettys, the high rollers, the Bettys. Who's it going to be now? It's kind of magical, if you ask me. It is magical. Sulfuric acid taking a tumble on the first turn. Honey Hellfire working the inside line and looking for some joy. She is your lead jammer. Very close game right now, ladies and gentlemen. The pack tightening up. The high rollers looking to slow this down. Honey Hellfire working her way through. The Betty saying no. Sulfuric acid meeting a heavy wall of three in the back there. And Honey Hellfire calls off the jam. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Kay's Bar, proud sponsor of the Rose City Rollers All-Stars, the Wheels of Justice. And in case you're wondering what our Wheels of Justice are up to next, they will be competing against the Detroit Derby Girls on Friday, February 4th at the Hangar at Oaks, of Oaks Amusement Park. Tickets are on sale now at rosecityrollers.com. Tech scene on the jammer line for the high rollers and... Uh, that would be shove me tender for the breakneck Bettys. Tech scene looking to pick up a couple of points on this jam for the high rollers to change that lead. High rollers enjoying this lead jammer status. Nope. Looks like an illegal procedure. Trip to the Rebel oh. penalty box. She'll be a diamond in the rough in the Rebel Jewelers penalty box for one minute. Shelby and... Tender is your lead jammer. Excellent time to have Lee Jammer when the score is this close. Satine, how many points could uh, Shove Me Tender pick up on this pass if she was lucky? Oh, if she was lucky, she could pick up five points. We've got that one ghost point in the box. She's working on it. The high rollers are saying no. Oh, looks like she got it. She got the five in the sky. Neck Betty's dominating the pack out there. A little spill at the end of that jam. Looks like everyone's okay. Mike check. This just into the announcer table. We've got Julie Neff visiting from Utah, and it is her birthday. So huge birthday wishes to Julie Neff. High rollers would start this jam with their jammer in the box. That would be Texine. Third time out on the jammer line is Joyride. Joyride fighting her way through the pack. Domesticated violence stepping to the side, letting her through for lead jammer. Texine back on the track and working her way through the pack right now. Last line of defense for the Heathers. Domesticated Violence is saying no. Texine says yes. Joyride getting a whip from one of her teammates, backed up into a high roller. High rollers dominating at the front of the pack. Joyride calls the jam but not before she picks up five points. Ladies and gentlemen, the tricycle races will be happening at the end of this bout during intermission. 
on the Pabst Blue Ribbon Jammer Line, number 20, Sulfuric Acid. And on the uh, track four, the high rollers, Rick Deckard, number 23. Both jammers jockeying for position in the back of the pack. Rick Deckard is through for your lead jammer. Sulfuric acid meeting a heavy wall of green up front, still trying to make it through. Rick Deckard working her way around. Picked up another four points on that jam. Breakneck Betty's have pushed the score way out to 42-31, but in Derby, that doesn't mean much, and this score could change and flip-flop back any second in this very jam, especially with someone like Napoleon Bonaparte jamming for them. Team timeout for the Breakneck Betty's. Well, that gives me an opportunity to, to give a huge shout out and thanks to Fred and the Wilsonville Big Town Hero for fueling up all of our volunteers with awesome sub sandwiches. Thank you, huge thank you to Big Town Hero. Like I was saying, on the PBR jammer line for the high rollers, Napoleon Bonaparte. Matched up against Joyride. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you were wondering, team timeouts last for a minute. And official reviews, mic checks, how long can those go for? Referee timeouts can go as long as the referees need them to to make sure everything is straight. It's an important but very difficult job. Indeed it is. There are a lot of things that the referees and non-skating officials are tracking out there and they want to make sure that they are all being tracked properly. I just love saying Napoleon blown apart for the high rollers. I don't know about you, but the anticipation is killing me. Jammers engaging the pack. High rollers looking to open it up for Napoleon. Napoleon on the inside and... She is your lead jammer. Joyride still fighting through the pack on her initial pass. I've noticed all night that those high rollers, they sure are dominating the front of the pack. Napoleon looking to weave her way through that wall of red at the very front of the pack. But Betty's defense is really tough and really quick tonight. Hard hit by Czechia. Napoleon uh, through for another four. And Napoleon blown apart calls off the jam. Bring our score to high rollers, 39. Breakneck Betty's, 42. We could very well see another flip-flop in the score on this one. This very jam with Miss Honey Hellfire on the jammer line for the high rollers. The official timeout. Mike checks. anything you want to tell us? Sure, I've got another birthday announcement to make here. We've got Bill from Vancouver, Canada here celebrating his 60th birthday. Happy birthday to Bill. Thank you, Mike Checks. 
Again, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss the after party tonight. The Magic. after party? You mean We're the after party hosted by the Portland Men's Roller Derby? You sound so excited about that. I'm going to be there. I can't wait. Where is that party? Oh, it's at the Bossa Nova Ballroom right here in Portland. Speed bump, what do you got for us? We're just having some math problems. It's your typical roller derby math cloud of hazy confusion. Uh, it looks like in that last jam, maybe one or two points were not accounted for that should have been, especially when a high rollers jammer lapped the Betty's jammer, scoring an extra point on that pass. So we're just making sure that everything was tallied correctly, that uh, 40 plus one is like 39 or something. We'll figure it out, I don't know. I, hey, I don't do the math over here. Roller Derby would be the only place where a fist fight might break out over some math. Thank goodness we have an amazing NSO crew out there tonight. Rose City Rollers are proud to host the 2011 Women's Flat Track Derby Association Western Regionals September 23rd through 25th at right here at Memorial Coliseum. Tickets are still available. You'll be happy to know that the calculator at the scoring table does work and they had accounted for all points correctly. Honey Hellfire rockets through the pack and she is your lead jammer. Jamming for the Breakneck Betty, Sulfuric Acid. We got a lot of whistles going out there. And Devastating Divas on her way to the Rebel Jewelers penalty box. Honey Hellfire calls off the jam with a little bit of flair. Amazing jam. Bringing our score up to 44 points. High rollers, 42 breakneck Betty. Two points, back and forth. Two points is all that's stopping this game. Taking to the jammer line for the high rollers. Your favorite and mine. Make some noise for Rick Deckard. I am absolutely on the edge of my seat, ladies and gentlemen. Jamming for Breakneck Buddies, Francesca. Francesca on the inside. Heidi Go Seek with a huge hip on the outside. Francesca being met up by a wall of two. Oh, amazing work by Rick Deckard. Magic, I am absolutely speechless over here. That was magical. This game is close. I can see our bench coaches over there, the Widowmaker, Rio Derange, jumping around. Rick Decker down between turns three and four, and she calls off the jam. Amazing work. I'm predicting it's going to be tight. Rick Deckard picked up two. Four total, putting him up to 46 to 42. High rollers. Waiting for the official score. Waiting. For... We got the thumbs up from Wrench, Wrench Warden. 46-42, the official score of the High Rollers! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was an amazing bout between both of those teams. Give it up for both the High Rollers and the Breakneck Betties!
Ladies and gentlemen, it is intermission. Ah, celebrate the way you will. I would suggest you celebrate with a big plastic cup of New Belgian Brewing Company. But first up, we've got tricycle races. New Belgian Brewing tricycle races coming up. Here come the tricycles, Magic. Oh, here come the chariots. The chariots are being placed on the Papsalur line. They are beautiful. If I could do it, I would want the pink one. Uh, you know, if I can arrange that, I'll get it for you. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is not the tricycle races of your childhood. This is not the tricycle races you used to watch on Saturday mornings right after professional wrestling. This is new tricycle racing, and we've got some rules to talk about. Where are our contestants? Where are our first three tricycle racers? We need to see them right now. They should be coming from here. There they are over there. All right, oh. ladies and gentlemen. I'm seeing some stretching. I like to stretch, kick, and stretch. For this race, I must remind you, there should be no elbows, no cutting the track, no hey, fighting. Yeah, should I get a little louder? And no biting. And no biting. I'd like your to know your name, official, please. official for uh, the tricycle races Sally. tonight. This is our first round. Hey, Derby fans, Susan B. Anarchy and Speed Bump back live but this time, not at the hangar, we're at the Memorial Coliseum. And our new venue is amazing. I wish you were here, but you're not. Unfortunately, well, but you're stuck with us anyway, so we're here to tell you about what's going on. Um, tonight's bout is brought to you live by Front Row Derby, a production of Blaze Streaming Media and the Rose City Rollers. For more information about the teams, the game, how to try out, all of the programs we run, our next games, how to get season tickets, RoseCityRollers.com has everything you could possibly want. Um, if you want to be part of our sponsorship, you may see your name and your business's name somewhere around the track like you see it today. Contact RocketMean at RocketMean at RoseCityRollers.com. Behind us right now is the Fat Tire Tricycle Race, right, Speed Bump? Yes, I will have to say that I'm very disappointed that I have to be here and not competing in this beautiful tricycle race. I could have totally taken both of them. I don't, I don't get it. I'm a little sad by this. However, I will say that tonight has been a great night. Uh, we're actually getting to see some of the matchups that we haven't seen since uh, pretty early last season. Uh, championships came down between the uh, Heartless Heathers and the High Rollers last year, which meant that that was the last bout we saw. And before that, it was GNR and, uh, and the Bright Night Bettys. So the teams who have been paired up tonight, we haven't seen go head to head in a long time. Also, the team lineups have changed dramatically. Um, there's a lot of players that you at home may never have heard of. Some people I'm still not really familiar with, and I consider myself to be pretty on top of things. We had a lot of people leave different teams, going travel team only now this season. It's a new development with Rose City. How do you think that's impacted some of the lineups tonight? I see a, a very different gameplay from a couple of the teams. I think it's been pretty obvious, especially uh, GNR. The Guns and Rollers lost a lot of their skaters to uh, travel team only. How many did they lose? Is it about five? I can't really count that high. I think. Um, I should have known better. But it, it was about five or six. Uh, you will see those girls on the Wheels of Justice this season playing at the national level, which is going to be great. However, for the Guns not in our home games. They have been. They will not be playing at the home games, and uh, in their place, we have a lot of fresh talent coming into those teams. Uh, the Breakneck Bettys have had several new players. They didn't lose too many. Uh, the High Rollers really has been about the same team that it was last year. Not a whole lot of new additions. It looks like there's not a lot of changes. And the Heathers, same story. Not and a whole lot of And they're coming back strong. Right. Uh, really, the, the big shot tonight was, uh, I would say, Breakneck Bettys really holding their own against the uh, the High Rollers. You know, I would agree. Champs, season champs taking on the number four team from last year. That number four team really held on to it at the end. I'm getting distracted by these tricycles. It's hard. There's there's adults on little tricycles. That tire always gets me distracted. That could have been you. As I was saying, that could have been you. If you would have come out here, we have plenty of uh, seats at this venue. We never sell out here. Uh, we may sell out here. You never know. We're making history tonight here at the Memorial Coliseum. This is the biggest venue, I believe, that the Rose City Rollers have ever consistently had for a season. Is that right? Yes. Sweet. Yes. 
Back so, to the action. Wait a minute. As I was saying, Great Neck Betty's really impressive show tonight. High Rollers, though, held on to it. They took home the win uh, by four points, I believe. Uh, I believe it was six, four, right, uh, four, four right at the very end, I think. I'll post those scores later. Rec Decker counted it down to the very last second, waited to hold off on the call until the game was over so nobody could call a timeout and try to sneak another jam in there under the line. So de definitely the High Rollers are showing that they've still got it. The Bettys are coming back strong. And the Heathers, my gosh, where did that win come from? I think they were, it's a different team. It's a different team than we saw last season. They were out for blood against the GNR. They came back strong. They led the game by 60 points for at least half the game. Uh, again, I don't remember. We're not going to ask him math anymore. I'm no not going to do it. Questions. Oh, big shout out to anybody that may still be watching in Selwood at Kay's Bar. Although I think they're all here. But if you are, hi. And you still have time to get down there. There's another couple games. It's in Milwaukee. Sometimes I have cue cards with the address. Tonight I don't. So you're on your own. And uh, if we don't see you uh, in here tonight, the next time you can see the Rose City Rollers live is? I'd have to cheat and look. On RoseCityRollers.com. RoseCityRollers.com are all our upcoming games, all the rankings, stats, all the good stuff. If you want to connect on our fan page, learn more about the individual teams, <laughs> learn more about Speed Bump. Tickets are on sale right now for our upcoming bout. You should definitely buy now because the hangar is a much smaller venue. It will sell out very quickly. And I believe even tonight our Rockstar seating sections have been sold out as well. So you, you got a lot of activity happening down here. So if you want to get in close to the action, you got to get on top of that early. I believe there's still season passes left. And you get some swank merch with it. So tell me, from the sidelines, who has been your most impressive player? thus far. Layla Smackdown seems to have Jammer Radar attached directly to her ass at all times. She's always where she needs to be. Um, but that's pretty typical of her last season as well. Um, up and coming skaters, skaters that have just improved leaps and bounds. Devastating Diva, I think, is one of my favorites. Just in a couple years, she's come so far and it looks amazing. I believe she just got drafted on the Wheels of Justice as well. Do you have a little high roller bias in you? I might have a little high roller crush right there. But Joyride looks great for the Bettys. She's looking fantastic. Brand new skater from Bend, Oregon. This is her first bout with the Bettys. Sulfuric acid, lean and mean. Um, who else? Who else was really impressive? Oh, Mercy. Mercy on the Heathers tonight looked insanely good. I would not want to be stuck behind her ever in life. She's our transfer from Pacific. Looks like we need to wrap it up. Uh, we have a back. quick shout out from Scream Cheese from the Junior Rose City Rollers. She wanted so much to come on camera. Scream Cheese, talk about what you're seeing out there tonight. Uh, really great derby. I mean, all derby is great, but uh, go high rollers. Is that your favorite? Oh, totally. Yeah. Is that just because a couple of our coaches are high rollers? That might have something to do with it, yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, keep an eye on Scream Cheese because soon enough, She'll be in the Wheels of Justice in no time flat. We're going to be back a little bit later. Say bye. Bye. Scream Cheese, when's your next bout? When's your next bout? Oh, wait. Oh, OK. My Sorry. next bout is January 30th. And you should go, because it's going to be really great. Where's it going to be? It's going to be at Oaks Park at the Hangar. And who are we playing? We're playing the Kitsap Derby Brass. And what are we going to do? Beat their asses. Thank you, Scream Cheese. We're about to get back to the uh, second half of the evening. We have two more bouts coming up. It looks like coming up next is the High Rollers against the Guns and Rollers, followed by the Breakneck Bettys versus the Heartless Heathers. I'm glad you knew that so quickly. I would have struggled. I hope I'm right. Thank you, Speed Bump. And thank you, people at home. Get down. Go support our sponsors at K's if you're not here tonight. But really, go to RoastCityRollers.com. Make sure you're at the next games, because this venue, this action, fantastic. It's going to be a great season. Opening season six. There's nothing quite like it. Okay, we're done. Take care. Bye. The second raffle will be PBR Swag Package includes a t-shirt, socks, belt buckle, and a custom PBR longboard.